A year or so ago, I purchased the Snapmaker 2.0 A350 all-in-one digital fabricator. This all-in-one machine gives me the ability to use 3D printing, such as FDM, the CNC function, and laser cutting in one compact workspace. This video, and others forthcoming with this machine, is not a how-to or a review of the machine, but rather my exploration of applications and possible uses of the technology involved. The good, bad, and ugly as it presents itself. It only hopes to inspire what is possible when they lift the veil of, back in my day. Let's take a look at the computer numeric code CNC function, what it's really like to use, and how we can use it in our niche craft. Okay, today we're gonna be running the CNC machine on the Snapmaker 2.0 A350. What I'm doing here today is I decided because of the leveling issue with the Snapmaker, it's nice to have a nice level face to work on when milling. This is the, the board they give you. So I'm gonna use is a sacrificial board where I'm gonna face today so the tool will always be level in the X and Y directions. So this is actually my first real CNC run besides a couple of tests I did pre previously, but this will be the first one as an actual use. I've already run the boundary, so I know the tool clears everything. This first step of the operation will be to drill holes where these holes are here, so we'll not be able to mount the board without the use of these things getting in the way. The holes will be counterboard, so the screws will be recessed, so the machine will be free to run anyway. I can also use those holes to fix the part, as well as drill into this and fix the part with screws like this in the scrap metal of the part, scrap portion of the part. So let's take a look and we're going to hit start and keep our fingers crossed. By the way, I did buy, purchase the emergency stop button. Good thing to have with the CNC. So let's go. And here it goes. And I got my hand on the emergency stop in case I need it. It's probably going to be like watching paint dry. The first operation is to bore out the through hole. Okay? So it did that with no problem. The next operation will be to bore out the can hole. So I know if it's able to do the through hole with no problem, that the uh, counter boards will be no problem. So it's got two completed. Doesn't look like I have any issues. We'll come back when it's doing the counter boards. And now we have it cutting the counter boards to about a depth of five millimeters. Actually, it will be five millimeters after the piece is reduced from 12.7 millimeters, half inch, down to 11 millimeters. The counter board is right now going down to 7.2 millimeters, so the finished counter board will be five millimeters. Six point, yes, five millimeters. Because I got the math. It was 5.5 millimeters. And the two hole at the bottom will be, uh, total length will be 11 millimeters, counterboard 5.5, with the remaining 
5.5 millimeter uh, two hole, four millimeter two hole, which will fit these screws exactly. As you can see, all the four millimeter holes are complete. And there we go, performing a counterboard operation on that hole. Up she comes, and travels ever so slowly over to the next hole. I left it on the fourth set. It comes with the tool for a uh, snap maker. I'm sure I could play with it, but I'm never in any major rush. So. That's it. All right, we will come back for the facing operation, which is the one I'm a little nervous about, using this tool. This will come down and hopefully grind away one millimeter and maintain, regardless of the height of the baseboard, the surface will then be true to the XY coordination of the machine itself. We'll be back. All right, here we are. The first phase is complete. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a quick vacuum. I wanna try and keep it clean as um, I use the machine between processes. So instead of letting everything build up. It's not extremely dusty all over the place, but there is some, so I'm going to clean it every step and this is the reason that I've made the hood easily removable okay so I can put this cover on when I want to and when I'm CNC machining it'll um, be removed so I can easily clean it that's the plan so I'm gonna vacuum this up with the with the shop vac and we'll take it off so but we'll see it when we're ready to take it off. All right, um, I vacuumed it off, so it's clean. You can see the counter bores. For some reason I'm suspecting uh, the holes did not go all the way through. I'm gonna find out in a minute. Um, if so, I gotta go back and, uh, or, or do something with adjusting the parameters because they are designed as two holes, but we'll see in a minute. Um, maybe it's just right there and uh, I don't know what tolerance the machine has but I suspect they should have gone through regardless uh, one other thing I added uh, with a sharpie I added an indexing mark so I know this is always properly lined up in the, in the proper direction because the holes are symmet symmetrical and I want to make sure when it's faced it always sits the same a very tight tolerance on the holes for the uh, uh, screws to go through. Yeah, I can definitely feel that I'm hitting a bottom of the hole and not hitting uh, the screw uh, threads down below. So I'll probably have to finish them out manually. But uh, one other reason, while uh, we just mentioned it was the removal of uh, the enclosure, okay, is that I can merely take this thing, wheel it out the door there, out the garage door, and hit it with a, um, a leaf blower, you know, a blower, and just clean it off in one, one quick shot uh, when I'm doing CNC machining. Or at least the end of a, uh, CNC machine for the day just to keep it clean because the idea is you know this this does have even though it's a well thought out machine it does have a lot of nooks and crannies that can gather um, dust after a while it's designed to to, to 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 deal with it but I like to keep it clean and it's just a thought it's really not that much of an effort to do so so, let's take this off and see what happened.
and they did not come through. Nuts. Okay, nuts. I'm gonna find out. It didn't seem to drill that deep. I gotta take a, a measurement and see exactly what happened here. But that's that's nuts. All right, no big deal though. Just drill them out, and uh, we'll then proceed with the next step. So let's take a break for now, and we'll be back in moments of your time to do the facing operation with this whammy jammer. <laughs> 